Welcome to the Apple Center. This is our green remodel tour. We're going to show you all of the things that we did with community support to turn this building into a model of energy efficiency and green building practices. So this building was built in 1931 by the U.S. Forest Service. It's an 800 square foot space and it was used as a dispatch center and storage building for the Forest Service until the city of Nevada City purchased it in the mid-60s. So to get started on the tour, um, in 2009, we did this remodel, and we started with using reclaimed lumber from the, from the demolition process. So when we gutted this building to turn it into this model of energy efficiency, we had to pull out some of the rafters, and it was this beautiful 1930 dug fir. So that wood is now used around all of the windows as the window trim, and local carpenters helped us to refinish it, plane it down, and to seal it into this beautiful trim lumber. The next thing we did was use clay plaster to refinish the walls. So a local company, Sons Development, donated this plaster product, and it's an alternative to paint. The clay breathes a bit, and it really is beautiful, and it helps to filter the air in your home. It's a LEED certified product. Third, we used um, bamboo and cork flooring. And the bamboo and cork flooring was donated by um, Young's Carpet One, and they provided this flooring um, for us. And some of it was used, and some of it was just in storage and was left over. So we were able to recycle that product and reuse it here at the Apple Center. So next, we're going to talk about the air ceiling and then the framing lumber that we use. So we actually took down all the interior walls when we gutted this building so that we could re-insulate them. And so this air ceiling, we used foam guns to, to foam in every crack and crevice to seal the envelope of this building and make it really tight so that we were controlling the airflow in and out. So we spent a lot of hours with these foam guns sealing every little crack and crevice. Then when we were reframing, um, the interior walls and some of the new sections, we used FSC certified lumber. And that stands for Forest Stewardship Council. And the Forest Stewardship Council certified lumber is a green product because it certifies that the, that the trees that are being harvested for this lumber are not being clear-cutted, that they're being replanted, that they're being um, harvested in a sustainable manner. So it's really important to use FSC certified lumber in green building practices. And that lumber was donated to us by Hills Flat Lumber here in Grass Valley, California. So this section of our tour is about insulation. When we re-insulated the walls, we used a product called Spider, which is a blown in fiberglass product. And you can see it here in the truth window. Then one section of the building is actually built with SIP panels. SIP stands for structurally insulated panels. And these panels you can see here in the truth window. And a SIP panel is foam insulation sandwiched between OSB board and it provides both structure and insulation to the building. Then in the attic we use cellulose insulation. And cellulose is a very green product because it's made from newspapers, shredded newspapers. And so a local insulation company came in and blew in cellulose once all of the rest of the ductwork and everything else was finished. And that's in our attic now. So once we made the building really airtight and well insulated, next we needed to install a, a heat recovery ventilator. So we we're mechanically ventilating the building because we have no operable windows and our envelope is so tight. So above me is the heat recovery ventilator. And what this piece of equipment does is it introduces fresh air into our, into our space so that we always have fresh clean air to breathe in here um, while it sucks old stale air out. So there's always the same amount of air in the room and it also recovers the heat or the coolness of the air inside and exchanges that into the new air that's, that is blown into the room. And so the new air that's blown in is fresh air but it's close to the same temperature as the air that was sucked out. Then we installed for heating and cooling an air handler. So the air handler is above me here and it's used to heat and cool our building. So in the winter time, it draws heat off of our hot water heater and the hot water heater um, has pipes that run into it and then again, the heat is exchanged with the air and it's blown into our space. 
And then in the summer, it's hooked to an air conditioner and the air conditioner does the same thing. It helps to cool the space. So this equipment in general is very small. It's designed much smaller than what you typically see in a space this size, and that allows us to have more energy efficiency in how we heat and cool our space. So here in the meeting room at the Apple Center, we have LED can lights. So these lights are designed to last 50,000 hours and they use almost no energy. Then we have um, removable carpet tiles. So our green carpet here is removable. It comes in sections, and that way if there was a stain or damage to a piece of it, we wouldn't have to rip out all the carpet. We could just rip out a piece of it. And then the carpet's also fully recyclable. And third, this wall is our only interior wall here at the Apple Center, and we chose to use metal studs to frame this wall because again, metal is a recyclable product. Um, these framing studs are made from recycled material and um, they work really well for interior walls. So here in our little kitchenette area of the Apple Center, we have an FSC certified counter um, or cabinet, kitchen cabinet that was installed by Peter Kraft of Kraft Kitchens. And again, the FSC certification means that it's Forest Stewardship Council certified and that this maple wood was harvested in a sustainable way and it wasn't clear cut from the forest. The countertop here is made out of, is, is a product called paper stone. It's actually made out of recycled paper. Both of these products, again, are LEED certified and the paper stone, this particular paper stone product is 100% post-consumer recycled paper. It's really hard, it's really durable, it's a great product. So here in the bathroom at the Apple Center, we have a exhaust fan that has a built-in motion detector. So the exhaust fan actually has two functions. It can function as just an exhaust system for the building, it's that efficient, or it can be kicked on higher to be used as an exhaust fan in the restroom when that's needed. So it has this green light you'll see as a motion detector, it can sense that we're in here. The other important thing about this bathroom fan is that it's properly exhausted. And you might think that it's pretty simple for a bathroom fan to be ducted to the outside. That's the point, right? Well, in most homes, they're actually not properly ducted. And all of that dirty air and moist air in most bathrooms where you have a shower just ends up in your attic. And it's really bad for your attic to have all of that moisture being dumped into the attic space. And then if your attic isn't sealed properly, that air finds its way back into your living space. And so this, um, this, at, or this fan, this bathroom fan, is properly exhausted to the outside and the ducts are properly sealed so that it doesn't leak. The end of our tour is right here back by the front door. First, we used no VOC paint, so there's no toxins in the paint at all on all of these walls in the Apple Center. We also installed acrylic storm windows by Castle Window Covers. Rather than replacing the windows to make them energy efficient, we just installed these Castle Window Covers, and they help to block out sound and to help to keep the hot sun out and to keep the building cool and comfortable. The final thing that we did here in our energy efficient green remodel was we used locally grown lumber. So we reused some lumber, we used FSC, FSC certified lumber, and then we used locally milled lumber. So we went out to the forest to a friend's house who had some milled lumber from his land, and that's what all of the baseboards and some of the last of the trim was used for. So thanks so much for watching our tour, and we hope to see you soon in the Apple Center.